Hi everybody, we're going to talk about what's on. So today I'm wearing the Armoury Safari 2 jacket. This is in a heavyweight, well, medium weight olive cotton. I'm wearing a uh, Armoury polo in navy with a button down collar and long sleeve. Well, I rolled it up on there somewhere. Um, a pair of the Nigel Caborn jeans that we do. This time it's in cotton and linen mix in a natural, uh, in natural color. So you see kind of like that natural irregularity in the fabric. And uh, I've got a pair of Moonstar boots on. This is the, I think it's the sloth boot. I think that's what they call it, I forget. Um, for my wrist check today, I've got an Omega Speedmaster in honor of today being the launch day of the Omega Moon Swatch, which is their collaboration with Swatch. Okay, why am I wearing this today? Uh, today's Saturday in Hong Kong. It has been kind of very rainy all week. My allergies are actually giving me a bit of a hard time. Um, and I wanted to wear stuff that I could just throw into the washing machine, right? If I get soaked, if I get wet, blah, blah, blah. Like it's nice to have stuff that I can just throw into the washing machine. So that's why I'm wearing such kind of easy care, casual gear. Uh, also, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what's going on at the shop right now. Um, so me, Alan and Jan have been working on spring, summer 2022, which means we basically have to look through oodles of cloth. I don't know, a thousand, 2000 little swatches of cloth, trying to figure out how to piece together next year's collection. Like when we deal with cloth selection, actually we try to do it um, about a year in advance. And so uh, tis the season for us, preparing for spring, summer 2023. You know, the reason why we look through so much cloth is because different mills do different things really well. Um, so for instance, like we've been going hard on linen recently, like we were like linen. And um, so we buy a lot of Solbiati. Solbiati is a great mill for linen. Like we really like that style. They're very creative when it comes to what they do in linen. Um, so obviously we're looking at Solbiati. Uh, another example, um, we like silk jacketings a lot. And actually Xenia does really, really good silk jacketings because Xenia bought over another mill called Novara. And so Novara stuff's been integrated into the Xenia collection. And um, that's why we have a look at it, right? Uh, I wanted to show you guys this pair of jeans a little bit more closely, just because I think it's a, this is my first time wearing it actually. Well, no, my first time. This is my first week wearing it and I've been wearing it a ton. When you first get it, fabric is beautiful, right? Like you have this irregular color to it. Fabric is beautiful, it's a little stiff at first, but it just takes one wash and one dry and then it turns into this. Then it becomes like very soft, very pliant and very comfortable. Um, it is a high rise, relatively straight leg jean like that. And it's really good for kind of fuller fit, uh, fuller fit garments, or even just with a polo shirt on top, right? Like our safari jacket's not like super trim. Um, when I wear it with a pair of jeans like this, I actually don't button the half belt so that it's not as wasted. It's a little bit more straight through the body. Um, okay, last thing, uh, because uh, because today is the um, the launch of the Omega, oh sorry, the Swatch Moon Swatch. Um, I just want to give a few thoughts, just because I thought you might be interested. Um, if you haven't heard, Omega has done a collaboration with Swatch, right? Omega has this very iconic watch called the Speedmaster, and uh, they've made a very accessible and fun version of this watch called the Moon Swatch. And it's launched today, I think it's like 240 US dollars, really accessible, really like nice watch. Like it's a nice watch, good looking thing, great entry point for a lot of young collectors. Like I'm excited, I'm glad it came out. I think it's, a, it's just a nice thing to have in the world, right? Um, obviously because it's kind of a hot product, the first thing that happens is there are lines. And in fact, uh, the lines have not been going so well in Hong Kong especially. Um, so people have been lining up for this watch the last two days in Hong Kong. Uh, and from what I understand, all around the world, the same thing is happening. Uh, and funnily enough, in fact, today, the lines got so chaotic that they canceled the launch. So that, that watch is, is it might not actually hit, and it, like that watch might not reach anybody's hands today, at least in Hong Kong. Um, different things have been happening in different parts of the world. My producer, Sam, was just saying that um, in Australia, people were bribing the security guards of the malls that swatch shops are in just to get into the, sh the mall a little bit earlier than everyone else to get at this watch. Uh, and you know, like it's, it's all quite extreme dramatic behavior for at the end of the day, like just getting a watch, right? So why does this happen? Um, and you know, it, it just comes down to money, right? Like people who manage to get their hands on this watch can flip it on eBay on whatever trading platform, 
um, basically immediately. And last I saw, there was an eBay listing for the Blue Moon Swatch for 2,500 US dollars. So it's like over 10x already, right? And so for, if all you have to do is just wait around in the rain, whatever, for a day or two, and you can make two grand, I think there are a lot of people who would be willing to do that, right? And so that is why these lines happen. So yes, the world is a bit crazy, but there's, it's not as crazy as you think. There's always a little bit of a logic to it all, right? Now, if you personally are interested in a moon swatch, just wait because it is available or it will become available online. It is not a limited edition thing. It's not even a numbered thing. So why the frenzy? Why the drama? Just wait, right? And I think this is kind of my sentiment on watch collecting in general, especially now that we have Watches and Wonders, which is the big watch trade show um, where a lot of things get revealed. With Watches and Wonders coming up uh, next week, uh, I love seeing all the new stuff. I think it's amazing what people come up with. Like, I'm really excited to see it all. Uh, I always dread the frenzy, right? I always dread it when people get really negative about it. They're like, oh my God, that's terrible, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, come on. Like someone worked really hard to make that, that watch happen. Like, you don't like it, it's fine. But like, it doesn't harm you in any way. Like, there's no need to get that upset about anything. And there's also no need to be like, I must have it. There's nothing you must have. Like, it's just a watch. Like, it, it, it has, whether you own it or not, has so little bearing on your life. So why get so worked up, right? Anyway, TLDR is, everybody, it's just a watch. Any watch, it's just a watch. Just chill. Okay, and on that note, um, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and thank you for watching.